Hello everyone, this is Yolanda from CraftySentiments.com and I'm back with another video for you today. Today I want to uh, do a quick project, a Halloween project. I'm going to be doing some little small treat bags uh, or boxes and I wanted to use the new sets that I received for my holiday um, pre-order. And the first one is going to be the Cookie Cutter Halloween. Uh, I want to use a couple of the uh, images that are on here. And I'm also going to be using the coordinating uh, punch. I forgot what the name of the punch is. I'll, I'll list it below. But it goes with the cookie cutter Halloween and cookie cutter Christmas um, sets. I'll be using that. Also what I'm going to be using is a... Um, my treat box is going to be made from the popcorn thinlet, popcorn box thinlets. And this is the set of thinlets. And the only thing that I'm going to use today is the actual box die. Uh, they have other embellishments where they have little popcorn and star circles. Um, this is where you can make a scallop on the top of the box, but I'm not going to do that today. The only thing that I'm going to be using is the um, actual box die. I'll need my stampin', excuse me, I'll need my um, big shot for this as well. Inks that I'm going to use today are Smoky Slate and uh, basic black. I'm going to be using my aqua painter for the image. Uh, the paper that I'm going to be using is from the new Halloween DSP called, I think it's Halloween Nights. I'm going to be using this particular sheet of paper from it. Let's see. Yeah, Halloween Nights designer series paper. It's double-sided paper. Um, here's one side, here's the other side. So this is the paper that I'm going to use as part of the designer series paper, um, Holiday Nights, and I'm going to use this side of the uh, paper. So what, I'm, what I need to do in order to use it in the big shot is that I will need to cut this in half, uh, so it'll be like two six, by, two six by 12 inch pieces, and I only use half of it. Uh, my big shot is in another area, so I'm going to show you really quickly what I'm going to do. After I cut the, the paper down in half, I'm going to line this die up closest to the top, and I'm going to put a piece of washi tape. Actually, I don't really need to, but I like to use washi tape. I'll hold it down with a piece of washi tape and run it through the big shot. And in order to make this box, I'll need to run it through twice. So I'll need to have one, cut that through, and then do another one and cut that through. So I'll be right back after I do that. Okay, I have both of them cut out, and this is what they look like. And you can't really see it on here too good, but it does uh, put score lines on here. And so I'm going to fold it on all the score lines on both pieces. And then you can reinforce it with your bone folder. You can, uh -oh. where's the, oh, there it is. And we'll do it for both pieces. Okay. So the next thing that we have to do is put these two pieces together. So I'm going to put some fast fuse right on this fold line right here and line them up. You can use a wet glue uh, to line it up or... I guess you can use your snail or tear and tape, but the uh, the wet glue, it might take a little bit of time for it to adhere, and the snail adhesive, uh, it might not be as strong as the fast fuse, but you can definitely use that uh, as well. So I just put a little bit of tape on the side, and I'm not doing anything really special with these because these boxes are actually going to be for little ones. And... Nine times out of ten, they're going to tear it up. So I'm not going to sp spend too much time doing these. But I do want something that's kind of cute uh, for them to use. I'm, and I'm actually going to be putting some different treats inside of the box. Um, you can put candies. Or I think actually what I'm going to use these for is some popcorn. And I'll probably show that to you at the end of the uh, video. So hopefully you can see. 
and then you just fold that down and it lines up and there's your box so on the very uh, end of the box there's a little piece that folds over on both end ends and you fold that back and actually you need to put adhesive on those little corners just a little bit of adhesive just a little bit then you can fold these down that one goes inside that one goes inside so it kind of looks like that and you fold it down and it folds up and it, and it sticks so there's your little box and I just reinforce it like that super cute and quick to do you can do these in all different kinds of colors again you can use a little scallop top and, and um, cut that out so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a scratch sheet of very vanilla cardstock and my basic black and I'm going to stamp up this one I'm going to use the um, the mummy I'll make sure you get good coverage on that and then down press it down hold one two three and up and a really good impression now you can do this before or after you cut it uh, cut it out or punch it out I just want a little bit of coloring on my mummy so I'm going to use smoky slate and my aqua pen just to put a little bit of color in order to do that I take it take it when it's closed squeeze it and I deposit a little bit of ink excuse me in the lid and now we can use that that to watercolor and I just want a very little bit mummies are not clean they're usually kind of dirty and raggedy so I'm, I'm just going to use this to add just a little bit of color and you don't have to be neat because again it's a mummy so I'm just going to put a little bit of color on there not too much just going to like dirty it up just a little bit and I didn't want the stark whiteness of um, of using the whisper white cardstock that's why I chose to use the very vanilla because it has a little bit of color to it in the background and that's it that's all I'm going to use the aqua painter for and the smoky slate now I'm just going to punch it out you line it up now see this punch it does punch other pieces because there's other um, ways that you can make <coughs> excuse me like a little teddy bear and, and things but I'm not going to use that I just want to cut him out so you kind of line it up let me line this up a little bit so I can see and punch it out and there you have it now all these other little pieces you could use those but I don't need those today so I'm not going to use those today and the other thing that I want to punch no I don't want to punch that out I am just going to flatten um, my box. I want to put a couple of dimensionals on the back to pop him up. One at the top. And I'll just do one at the bottom. Like that. Now I want to see where this can go because I kind of want to put... I wanted to put the the bird on there, but I'm not sure if it's actually going to fit if it looks right. I don't want it floating up in the air. I'll put that on the very end. Oh. Should have brought my uh, smaller one, but that's okay. I kind 
Oh, what the hell? This looks like it's on its... Bird. There we go. And... Take the backing off, if I can ever get the backing off of this paper. Off of the, the dimensional. I don't have any nails. And I didn't bring my pokey tool down. And I'm just going to place place it right here. Right there on the side. So it kind of looks like he's the bird. I don't like that. A little over just a little bit I want it to kind of look like the bird is on his arm like that and that's basically it that's all I'm gonna do I'm gonna fill this bag up with some different kinds of treats for Halloween I think uh, probably some popcorn or things like that here's another one that I did really quickly I did a little vampire with the um, with a little bat and again this took uh, this took one one whole sheet of 12 by 12 designer series series paper or you can actually use a, a eight and a half by eleven a regular piece of cardstock to do that and then design it but those are my projects for today really cute really simple to, and quick to do and again you can um, put in all kinds of things in there you can put some um, chocolates Halloween candy or anything uh, so that's my project for today. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you like any of these products, please let me know. Again, the popcorn box is actually on sale right now in our annual catalog. However, the designer series paper and the uh, stamp images are not available, and the punch are not available until September 1st. So you can order them at that time. If you're interested, please let me know and I can send you a catalog out so you can look at the different products that will be on sale starting September 1st. If you like this video, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already so you can get some more, um, be notified of different projects and uh, videos that I will do uh, in the beginning, um, in the future. I'm kind of tongue-tied. But anyway, thanks so much for stopping by and I'll be back real soon.